that's another version of you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You may find this version preferable to the other version uh, because it has fewer sharps and flats. And also the right hand is playing the melody, this time instead of the left hand, which you may be more comfortable with. So the other nice thing about this is that if you learn everything up through measure 11, then you will know basically the rest of the song uh, as well, except for a few small changes toward the end. So what we're going to look at today is some items from the first page. And again, just like in the other version, you will see that I have notated in the music where you put your hands into position and just play the finger numbers, right? And just like in the other version of Grinch, I have circled notes where you are out of position and just playing some other notes, okay? I have also corrected some fingerings to make sure that you can stay in those positions that we've established. So if you go to the beginning, you see that the right hand is in A position and it's A position right here at middle C. The left hand is in G position down here. Now, the right hand, let's just talk about that for a minute. This is gonna take us all the way to the end of the first line. And if we look at the right hand and just follow the fingerings, now we are in the third complete measure and right here we have some circled notes. So we're going out of position up to F sharp. Now the music says to play it with finger one. That's a good idea. It's a bit of a stretch. You don't have to stretch, you can just play and play, okay? And then we go to B down here, and then we're back up to G sharp. All right, let me do that again one more time from the beginning. Here comes our stretch up to F sharp, then B, then G sharp. The left hand in that same part of the first line, we're in G position. The notes are self-explanatory. Just look at the fingerings. Now we have the circled notes at the end of the line. We're just gonna go down here to E. You can even think of it as E position and play E, B, E. That's it. When you get very confident with those notes hands separate, you can do it together. I'll do it slowly. Right hand's gonna go up. And at the same time, the right hand goes up again to G sharp. The left hand goes down to E. Now, the right hand is basically at this point sitting in D position, and that's where you need to be for the second line. And the left hand is going to go boop, boop, up to G position. Let's take a look at the left hand first going into the second line. Easy peasy. Okay, that's the second measure of the second line. We're going to just stop right there for a second. The right hand. Again, the end, those last two notes of the first line, we're in D position. Just follow the fingerings. And that takes you to that slash where we're going to stop. Hands together, it looks like this. That's the slash. Let's just do one more chunk. So you see everything is circled. The left hand is going to go down to E position. The right hand is going to take middle, uh, the middle finger, finger three, and put it on middle C. So the right hand in this circled little area does this. And then up an octave. 
So from A to A. One more time, that's. And the left hand sitting down here in E position is going to play four and one. Hands together, that's. sound so good, does it? Why? Because we have a B and we have an A. Sounds like Mr. Grinch on the piano. So if you're wondering, oh my gosh, that can't be right, that's right. Now if you want to continue to the last slash, which is on the bottom line of the first page, we, we go from doing this. Right hand to E position, and we're going to play some F sharps. Okay, and just stay right there because the next notes are this. Watch your sharps. And on the last line, and that's it. One more time, right hand's in E position. left hand there has already moved to E position, so after the right hand goes, then the left hand, just like the music says, plays five, five, the right hand, and now on the last line, and that's it. The rest of the song is pretty much a repeat of what you just did, except for the ending. So my suggestion is to learn one little section at a time. When you have your hands in a position, then learn that little section. Pay attention to what's circled because that's not in the position. You get to a slash, stop. When you feel really good about that, you can move on to the next little section between slashes. Your main decision will be, which version do I want to do? That's totally up to you. So see what you can get accomplished this week and we will move forward next time.